Aloha mai kako. Welcome to Halau na Pua Hala Puno Kai. My name is Pumu Kanoi, and we are so excited. I always say that every week. Every week I say we're so excited, but this has been a fabulous week of celebrating our Prince Jonah Kuhio Kalaniano Ole. For those of you here in Hawaii, we had a day off. Many of us had a day off yesterday, thanks to Prince Jonah Kuhio. But we hope that you took some time to celebrate not just a time of rest, to celebrate our prince. And we have been celebrating Prince Kuhio all month long here at Halau Napua Hala Kuno Kai. This is my trust assistant. This is my son, Eames Kalaniakea Williams. And we are so excited to be here on a Saturday. We're coming to you live from Nu'uanu Valley on the island of Oahu. We would love to know where you are joining in from as well, because I know that we have people from all over the globe joining our Hula Ohana. It's just like Hawaii, where everybody's your auntie or your uncle or your cousin. This is our global Hula Ohana, and we're glad that you're a part of it. So without any further ado, I do believe it is time. Welcome back. So this is our Ohana Hula Saturdays, and uh, we call it our Ohana Hula Saturdays. It used to be a keiki class, actually, but we noticed that so many of you are joining from around the world, and you folks are not keiki anymore. So we have some keiki, we have some opio, and we have some um, makua, and even kupuna joining us. So we are going to do our um, chants and our prayers and our mele. We'll start the class in very much the same way that we always do with a little bit of routine. And then we're going to change things up just a little bit in honor of Prince Kuhio today. So let's start with Hawaii Pono'i. Now, Hawaii Pono'i, of course, is written by King David Kalakaua, as well as the bandmaster of the Royal Hawaiian Band, Henry Berger. So we always do all three verses. You'll see them here on the screen. We'll start with verse number one. And then we'll go on to the chorus, or hui, which you'll see on the side here. And then verse 2, hui. Verse 3, hui. So, kui luna, everyone, stand on up wherever you are. Palikekua, can you show them what palikekua means? Palikekua means your back is straight like a cliff, like the one that we climbed yesterday. Um, <laughs> and mahina kealo, yeah, it wasn't a very straight cliff. Luckily, it was a, a slope. So, mahina kealo, your face shines like the moon because we're so excited to be here. Hawaii pono i. Hawaii Ponoi Nana I Komoi Kalani Ali Keali Mahuala
Nui. I hope that some of you folks are beginning to memorize those verse two and three, because I know we normally only hear verse one and two, but we always do all of the verses here on our Ohana Hula Saturdays. So thank you for that. By the way, if you heard that lower voice, that wasn't Eames. His voice didn't just drop overnight. That, of course, was my Kane, my Ipo, my other half. That was Uncle Luke behind the camera. Thanks, babe, for making us look so good. <laughs> the week. Oh, all over the week. Or over the week. Yes, exactly. You didn't uh, go through puberty this past week? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Phew. Uh, we're going to move right along with our Oli Aloha. Of course, our Oli Aloha is our Aloha chant. Before we jump into this, so sorry, we do want to say Aloha to those of you who are tuning in. So we want to know who is watching and where you're watching from. So hopefully you let us know in the comments down below. Let's see where we are. So I see the Pashon Ohana. Aloha to Ernest and Law and Arlie and Mia and Emily. All the way in Makiki. Nice to see you. I see Shaka joining us from France. Let's give Shaka a Shaka. A mahalo for being here. I'm glad that we got the time all straightened out. Aloha Abby joining us from Mexico. Yeehaw. Patricia is joining us from Massachusetts. Hey. And I hate to lump everyone together, but we have Angelica and Angelique both joining us from Pelemania, also known as Germany. So thanks for being with us, our Ohana in Germany. I hope we can come visit you soon. Uh, we also have another friend in France, Rai Moana. Aloha no, bonjour. Linda joining us from Pennsylvania. And Jennifer joining us from, I believe that's South Dakota, SD. Is that South Dakota? Better check my, yes. And we have North Dakota via South Dakota. So I see Michelle joining us from North Dakota and South Dakota. Hey, aloha no. All right. So I'm so glad to have the entire world joining us for hula, basically. Um, we are going to do our Oli Aloha right now, written by Kumu Pilahipaki. It spells out the word aloha. If you look down the side of the, it is an acrostic poem, exactly. If you look down the side of each line here, you see A-L-O-H-A, -A, a little aloha in our day. Okay, that's not the sound, though. Okay, so here comes Oli Aloha. Hands down by your sides once again. We're going to look from one side of the room to the other just to train ourselves not to just stare at the computer screen, but to share the aloha with everyone in our hale, in our home, in our community and beyond. So, Oli Aloha. Akahai na Hawaii, Lokahi a Kurike, Olu Olu Hamana O, Ha a a Kokulana, Aho Nuyala Nakira. I love it. It actually just fits so perfectly. So I'm glad to be sharing the aloha with all of you folks. We're going to noho ilalo right now, which means to take a seat. Yes, you may. Um, my kumu, le momi i maldonado, would always have a sit for these prayers. And um, I think it was partly this idea of, you know, um, kuno, nodding your head, bowing your head in reverence. And so we're going to do today only one of our prayers, and then we're going to actually move on with our hula. So we're going to do the Hawaiian doxology, um, Kamele Ho'omaika'i, also known as Ho'onani. And this one was uh, translated by Hiram Bingham. And then we actually have a second verse that we like to share, written by the late Kumu Ha'onani Bernardino. Today is the last day of the month, so we're going to challenge you a little bit today. I am a music teacher as well as a kumu hula, so I'm going to sing a harmony, and you are challenged to stick with Eames, and yeah, you can't cover your ears because you need to hear the harmony, okay? So I'll let you choose the, the pitch for ho'onani to start, and then we'll get going, okay? Ready? Ho'onani, pop. Ho o na ni ka ma ku a ma ke ke ki me ka u ha ni no ke a ku a ma ho o mai ka i u ku ke. Oh. 
For that, ooh, I just got chicken skin. We so, could also do a different harmony. Exactly. I think if Tutu's watching down the road in Nu'uanu, I'm sure she did a different harmony. And we are singing in three, four, five, uh, 20 part harmony all around the world. So thank you for that. I love it. I love it so much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Normally, right now in our Ohana Hula class, we would um, continue with our chants and prayers, maybe grab our ipu to do a little bit of work on that. But we have much to do today. So instead, yeah. we're going to ku iluna, stand on up, and we're going to jump into our hula, which today is Waikiki hula. So um, because we have friends joining us from around the world and some new ones I see, uh, I'm actually going to treat today as if we were learning an entire hula in one class um the hula that of course we have been learning all month long is waikiki hula for some of you this will be a little bit of review but i want to make sure that our new friends um get to learn all of it so we're going to do a little bit of history a little bit of quick review slash teaching and then by the end of today's class if you stay with us all the way to the end we will know the entire song of Waikiki Hula. So, a little bit of history. Uh, Waikiki Hula is actually written um, in honor of a uh, place. Yes, this is it. So, on uh, the picture here, you will see our Prince Jonah Kuhio Kalaniana Ole. Yesterday would have been his 150th birthday. It looks good for 150, if you ask me. Uh, uh, this, of course, is uh, an old photo of him and his wife on the occasion of their honeymoon at their home which was known as pua leilani also um the translation of that would be the flower wreath from heaven or heavenly garland of flowers and his name was uh the name of this place was so called because it was surrounded by beautiful gardens of flowers down at waikiki oh Sorry, I made the slides. I should know where they are. This is a picture of Pualeilani. Check out all of that foliage. You don't see too much um, that looks quite like that in Waikiki with all of the hotels and everything. The site of Pualeilani is near the Prince Kuhio statue at Waikiki Beach. Um, that entire area from the beach and extending upwards toward uh, what is now the Alawai Canal uh, was a part of his property. And kind of the Hyatt Hotel, Alohilani Hotel, all of those areas were a part of this land that belonged to our chiefs and chiefesses. So Pualeilani is the name of the place. It is right there, smack dab in the middle of Waikiki, fronting uh, Kuhio Beach, what is now the Kuhio Beach Park. And so let's take a look at verse number one. Pauku e kahi, uh, verse number one says, He aloha ia no a o waikiki. You're going to go from the center of your chest? Yes, we're dancing now. Ku iluna, stand up. Let's do it. Okay, hands from your chest. Right hand is from your chest, out to the side. My love, and then left hand from your chest. Ia no. And a o waikiki, you're going to make the spouting waters of waikiki. You can wait until we do it with music. Waikiki, you're going to do two waves to the right. And waikiki is not gigantic waves right so use your wrist as a guide and just a small little bump in the waves to the right two times and then to the left one and two now this line that you see here kanehe o kekai ha vana vana, you always hear about whispering sea when you hear songs about kuhio and i don't know what is up with that maybe the poets knew something about some secrets or something but kanehe o kekai ha vana vana. Um, this this whispering sea. It's not a crashing, booming um, tidal wave kind of wave. It's just a gentle whisper of the sea. So from right here, after you do your two waves, Waikiki, Ea, your left hand is going to extend out to the side. Your right hand is going to push from your lips, just the right finger extended. Kanehe, okay, and then switch. 
Kai, bring it back into your lips. Havana, Havana. Now, I love this melee. It was actually passed down through generations by a Mrs. Helen Ayat, whose family were actually um, handmaidens to the Princess Kahanu. So this, this um, song, we actually don't know who exactly wrote this song, but we know that it's been passed down through generations, and it's a little bit jazzy. So here we go, just the hands from your chest. Hey, aloha, join me, left hand. Iano, Waikiki, spouting water. Ah, Waikiki, the whispering sea. Kanehe, oke, kai, then bring it in. Havana, vana. And we have a little rewind motion. So after you go out, you're going to go, and then push it back out. All right. Now, I want to make sure you see that kanehe oke kai. Your hand is going to be like this. Yep. And then just the right finger is extended. All the rest of the fingers are just slightly down. So I just want to make sure that you can see that very clearly. Kanehe from your lips. Red. Here we go. Kanehe oke kai. Havana, vana. Okay. So now let's add the feet to that for he aloha. From your chest, you're going to actually spin around to the right. So let's just take the feet. Your spin is not going to be on your toes or a pirouette. You're actually going to take all your steps. So you're going to turn one, two, three, back to front. And then we get a regular kaholo to the left. Kaholo, of course, is going to be four steps to the left. One, two, three, four. Let's try the, that combination of spin and kaholo to the left. Ready? Here we go. Hey, aloha. I -a -no. Then kaholo. A o wai ki ki e a. Kanehe o ke kai. Now freeze right here. We're going to have a ka o. Ha vana. And then kaholo. Vana. There's that little jazzy portion because we have to add just one ka o to make the music come out right. Okay? So I love that it's not just a regular four four time there's an extra da da i call it a bottom or I, anyways it's not a it's not a technical term it's called the bottom okay so here we go hey aloha we're gonna add the hands and feet together join me ready spin to the right hey aloha stay front i -a no waikiki a o waikiki a, -a whisper Kanehe o ke kai. Havana, Havana. Yeah, this, that was the badump. The badump was right there. Okay, I'm going to ask Eames to come back and join us. We're going to try that first first. That was a little bit slow down tempo. Now we're going to do the um, up tempo, the real version. So listen first before we dance so that you get a feel for how fast it goes. right and holo to the left okay it's a little bit fast so start your engines slam your coffee whatever you gotta do and oh we forgot to tell them i forgot to tell them the vamp in between each verse your right hand is going to be locked into your waist and your left hand is going to extend from the side to the front and then switch the side to the front and then that right hand is just ready to go into our halo that's it okay Start your engines, boys and girls and guys and gals. Brum, 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 brum. Hula mic, ready, go. Hey, aloha, spin. Hey, aloha, hey, aloha. Waikiki, water. Waikiki, hey, Whispering. Put a little extra but um in there you go ahead and do a little extra but um that's fine okay so that was our first verse i hope that you were able to uh pick up the speed with us because i know i was on ugh, snooze speed okay 
So our second verse actually talks about the beach part of this property. So you'll see here a picture of the, um, the beach that fronts Pualeilani. It was well known for surfing, probably not for big wave surfing, but more like those long boards like Dukahanamoku style. You see right there the beautiful view of Diamond Head, also known as Kaimanahila, originally known as Leahi or Laiahi, the forehead of the ahi. Um, so this is uh, the beach where Kuhio would have gone with his um, cousins and, and uh, family to go surfing. And uh, it was well known for surfing, but it was also well known for something very fragrant, not flowers, but it was known for seaweed. So this is the Lipoa seaweed, um, two different varieties of the Lipoa seaweed. And when the Lipoa was in bloom or flourishing, I guess I should say, um, the Lipoa had a very pungent aroma. So Waikiki is actually known for the smell of this Lipoa back in the time when um, Kuhio and Kahanu, uh, not Kahanu, Princess Kahanu, were um, living there at Pualeilani. They would be able to smell it even when it was below the ocean, four feet under the water, you could smell the lipoa. So this is the second verse. Let's take a look at the hands. Paiho ka makani. Now we're gonna talk about the wind. Makani means wind, correct? So left hand is gonna be at a 45 degree angle. Right hand is overhead. Join me. Hands go paiho, then reverse that. Now your right hand stays at the angle. Left hand is gonna go over. Kamakani and the wind brings with it. Lave maaliea. Now we know that this was a pleasant aroma to those there because it says lave malie. If it said like lave pilau or something, then that, then there was not a pleasant smell. This lave malie it brings this pleasant, gentle aroma. So you're gonna just kind of let the the smell and the wind. The fragrance, let's call it a fragrance. That sounds less like today. Okay. Oh, that smell, yeah? Okay, pa -i ho over your head. pa -i ho other side. Kamakani, carries with it. Lave ma -e -a. Now, this looks very similar to our whispering motion, but instead of being, come a little bit closer. Instead of being here, pointed upwards, you're gonna take your hand, gonna straighten it out and you're gonna lift it up to nose level because it's just wafting, right? You're just smelling that. So this one is gonna go pretty much from your nose out to the right and then from your nose out to the left. Then you're gonna gather up the lip by sweeping the right hand down <laughs> and then you're going to flip the hands over. Now, we're not doing a pua motion, not a flower motion, but lipoa is a seaweed. So my kumu would always say pua, the fingers point up and are together. For the lipoa or the seaweed, your hands are going to be flat with the, the thumbs tucked over as if you're holding the seaweed sort of draped over your palm this way. Can you see it in your mind's eye? Yes. So like this out to the side. Okay. So let's try once more blowing the wind. Paiho kamakani go. Paiho, other side. Kamakani, it brings with it. Alave maalie, the fragrance. Ke ona, gather it up. O kalipoa, and we have our baram or our extra beat right there at the end. We're gonna have one kao. Okay, so let's add in some feet work now. We're gonna kahola to the right. Paiho, ready, go. Paiho. Kamakani, pleasant wind, pleasant face. Lave maalie, the fragrance. Ke ala ona ona, o kalipoa. Ba da 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 da. One more time, paiho go. Paiho, kamakani, alave maalie. So that's our second verse. Are you ready to try it with music? Are you ready to try it with music? How'd you end up over there? Okay, so...
Ayiho Kamakani, um, the version of this mele that we have taken it from, let's see, do we get to do it two times or just one time? We only get to do it one time. So uh, if you're wondering, the recording that we're using for this is none other than dun 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 dun, dun me. Uh, <laughs> but it's based off of a Kahawanu Lake version of the mele. The reason I don't use the Kahawanu Lake version here is because Facebook would shut us down if I did. So don't use my version. Use their version. It should fit almost perfectly. Okay, here we go. Paiho kamakani. Sometimes I just get stuck on these words. Okay, so that was verse one and two. Should we do both? Let's do both. Okay, we like a good review, right? We like a good review. Yay! Oh, I see Mama Chan on there. Hi, Mama Chan. Thanks for being with us today. Hula. Hey, aloha. Spin. Hey, aloha. One time. Hey, aloha. Other side. Waikiki. Whisper. Yeah, we get to repeat that verse. All right, the next verse coming up is verse number three, and this one says, Kaulana, ko inoa. Actually, it's perfect. Ke, ke. If you look on this invitation right over here, you will see a crest up top, and it says, Ke, ke. Of course, this was not Kaulana, ko inoa, as we have said in the verse, but this was Kuhio and Kahanu. This is the crest of the prince and the princess, um, and this. Beautiful artifact. I am mind blown. One of you out there sent this to me, actually. Mahalo to Linda Haynes Abbott, who sent this. It is an invitation received by her grandparents to be in the presence of Kamel Hano Hano, um, to be in the presence of the prince and the princess themselves at their home at Pualelani. It says so right there, right there, Ma Pualelani. So this was an invitation to come and ho'onanea, to relax and enjoy a party with the prince and the princess. So they love to have parties. My favorite thing about this particular party was that it was a white party, right? It was the first diner en blanc, maybe, uh, one of the diner en blanc here at um, Waikiki. And last week, if you're with us, we dress all in our finest white attire because we wish we were going to that. Uh, we had shown a picture of a party, but it, everybody wasn't all in white. So I dug around a little bit more in the archives, which just released their digital collection. You definitely should go check it out. Here is a picture of Kuhio. He's right smack dab in the middle. Um, he's the one with his hand over his knee and his foot is crossed over like this. That's Kuhio surra surrounded by his hoa, his friends, all in white. And man, do they look hot, right? White hot, H-A-U-T. <laughs> they look so great. I love their hats, their bow ties, and their white pants. I'm a sucker for white pants, you know, especially guys dancing hula in white pants. Whew. Anyways, this could have been a party very similar to the one that we were invited to um, 100 years or so later um, in that invitation. But the reason we brought up this was because 
they were famous for being entertainers. Kaulana Koino. So let's take a look at verse number three. Kaulana Koino. What do you have a question, sir? What is your question from the peanut, peanut gallery? gallery? So that picture kind of looks like the picture on the lost and my microphone. <gasps> oh. Hmm. We did a breakout room this past um, week for spring break, and my son was just saying that that picture looked like one of the pictures from the breakout room. And we were going to put out to you, how many of you would be interested in a breakout room with a theme of history of Hawaii? Maybe even based around Kuhio's life. Maybe some of those Kai Havanavana secrets. Maybe for next Kuhio. Okay, we'll try and get our act together. Okay, Kaulana, Kauino. Oh, sorry, I digress. Kaulana means famous. You're going to make your hands. Let's get back into hula. Left hand is going to be straight up above your head. Right hand is going to be extending towards the 45 degree angle. Okay, so palms are facing up to start. Kaulana, then you're going to flip over. Kauinoa. Now, Malihini are the newcomers, also known as the tourists, of which there are many in Waikiki these days. Thank goodness. You're going to look over your right shoulder. Ina Malihini. And then flip. Eya. Okay, so let's try from the beginning of that. Come on, let's dance. Don't just sit there. Hands up. Ready? Kaulana. Flip. Kauinoa. Ina Malihini. Eya. Now, the next part says, Ka'apuni konani, puni ka honua. And you folks are a perfect example of that. Honua means earth or globe. Puni ka honua means global or around, surrounding the world, just like you folks are. Ka'apuni konani, the beauty is known and celebrated and loved around the world. Now, for you folks, it's the love of hula. Hopefully, it's the love of Prince Jonah Kuhio. They were well known in their time, even though they didn't have Facebook or internet or anything like that. They were, um, let's not say notorious, famous, kaulana, for their beauty and for their royal highness. So, hands up, kaulana. Kaulana, flip. Kowinoa, look right. Namalihini, a big scoop. Kaapuni, unani, your beauty, you're going to come down your body. Kaunani, puni kahonua. You're going to reach the right hand out to the east and to the west. That's it. Puni kahonua. Now your bottom or your extra beat is going to be right there on the left hand. So this is going to be kahola right. Kaapuni, all around your beauty. Kaunani, to the east. Puni kaho, and to the west. Here's that bottom extra kao. Okay, I like to point out where it is in the verse because if you forget, you're going to get all jam up, your vamp going wrong way. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so kaulana is going to start with a kaholo to the right. Kaulana. Flip over. Kowinoa. Now right here for your malihini, lock in that left hand to your waist. Don't let it wiggle. Right hand is across your chest. We're going to get four kao. First two are looking to the right. Inamalihini, switch, eya, then kaholo scoop, kaapuni, kounani, puni kahonua, param, da, da. Let's try one more time, even though we don't get to repeat it in the recording. Kaulana, kaulana, kowinoa kao, inamalihini. Big scoop. Kaapuni kounani. Puni kahonu. A little faster. Ba da 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 da. Kaulana, here we go. Kaulana. Ko we know what ka o. Inama. Lihini. Scoop. Kaapuni kounani. Puni kahonu. And let's try with the music now. Okay. Phew. How are we doing on time? Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Here we go. This is the fragrance of the leaf ball. Here we go. Hula. Kaulana. Famous is your beauty and your name, rather. Around the world.
all the way from the beginning. We gotta back it up. Review from the beginning. Hola. Hola. that that one last one is a ka'o when you do the east and the west or around the world anything like that kaholo to the right and just one swing ka'o because then you don't have time for the rest okay now we are to new stuff if you've been following us every week in week one of this month we did first one week two verse two week three verse three now we're in the last week of the month and we need to cover two whole verses so Let's check out a little bit of background. How do we get out of there? Here we are. Okay. So the next verse talks about something that the, the prince was famous for. Not only was he a royal, he also went to jail. He also fought in the war. Oh, wait, he fought in a war and then went to jail. Um, he started the Hawaiian homelands. He started the Hawaiian civic clubs, but he also... Um, was had a little bit of a temper. He knocked people out. He uh, he was kind of like all over the place. He was well known as a horseman. Is that what you call it? Equestrian, <laughs> a horseman. He was a Pegasus. No, just kidding. Okay, <laughs> sorry. He was an equestrian. He loved horses and he loved riding. So here's a photo of Prince Jonah Kuhio atop a Leo horse and he has in his hand is it a like a whip or a, a a bull whip i don't know i'm not a horse person a lasso maybe oh yeah but he's riding through the brush um i love this next photo of him because he looks like he's going fast he's at a full gallop here um he was part of a group um a hui if we call it yes there is there's someone right behind him he was part of a group called the hui Holo Leo o ka ehu kai. And of course, kai means seawater. Ehu kai is the sea spray. So when the um, rocks would hit against, no, when the sea would hit against the, yep, when the sea would hit against the rocks, it'd have this spray. And if you can picture the sea and the rocks and the horses going by, that was the name of their equestrian group. The hui holo Leo o ka ehu kai. And I actually know a, a kahiko, uh, an ancient hula about that. So that's how we know that that is. So there he is. Um, I also wanted you to know that he didn't just ride out in the country by himself. He also had his princess with him. This is Princess Kahanu atop a um, beautiful horse. I love her muumu, her hat, her lei, just everything about her. I want to be Princess Kahanu. Um, but I also love his, like, what is that, a rash card or something? He looks like he is like ready to go surf makapu or something i don't know but he <laughs> my husband said he looks like he's ready to roll jujitsu i don't know if you folks do jujitsu but i don't think he was into it just saying <laughs> he probably would have been he was into everything so this is princess kahanu um they loved horseback riding out in the wild but they also loved to go to the horse races so Check this out. There were races at Kapi'olani Park. There was actually a, um, what is it called? Not an arena. It was a horse track, a horse racing track 
there at Kopi'olani Park where we have the park and, and all of the um, shell and all of that. You can see it right at the base of Diamond Head. Of course, it wasn't Diamond Head. It was uh, sometimes known as Kaimana Hila. It was also known as Le'ahi. That's the ancient name for that place. So I wanted to show you this um, newspaper clipping from 1879. Yikes. Um, and it says that you know, they could win $200. That's a lot of money back then. Um, admissions to, oops, this side. Admissions to the grounds. Oh, you're blocking my finger. Admissions to the grounds were 50 cents. I don't know if that's per person, per car, per couple, who knows. But anyways, um, so this is a picture of the grounds there at Kapi'olani Park where they had racetracks. And I wanted to show you a picture of how many people would come out to these racetracks for 50 cents a pop. This is a packed race. Who knows who was racing? Um, as far as I know, I don't think that Kuhio actually raced at the track. I think he just liked to enjoy the races, but who knows? Someone proved me wrong. I would love to see um, an article or even better, a picture of Prince Kuhio racing at Kapiolani Park. So um, mahalo to the Hawaii State Archives um, digital collection for some of these photos. And um, yeah, so... Let's talk about verse number four. It says, turn and admire Diamond Head, Kaimanahila. So picture you're there at the park, maybe at a race, and you just look up and see, wow, la, la, Kaimanahila, you look amazing. So huliaku, na, na, let's go over the hands for that. Left hand is going to be across your chest. Yes, we're back to hula now. This is not history class. Left hand is across your chest. Right hand is going to go right up in front of you, and you're going to turn to the side because the word huli means to turn. So let's try one more time. Not all the way around. So left hand is across your chest. Right hand is up front, and we're going to just turn quarter turn. Huliaku. Okay, now I'm going to stay facing you so that you can see what I'm going to do when I face to the side. Na na means to admire or to look with intent. So your left hand is going to come by the corner of your eye and your eyes must look at your hand. You can't stare at yourself in the mirror, stare at the computer. You have to look up, chin up, all your chins, lift them up. That's it. Okay, left hand across your chest. Let's turn to the side. Huliaku. Na 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 ya kaimana hila. We're gonna look at kaimana hila. Swoop the hands down from the left across the center up to the place motion at kaimana hila. Eya. Then ike ikanani. Admire or see the beauty. Your right hand now is at your um, corner of your eye. Left hand is gonna be right at eye level. Ike ikanani. Switch to the other side. There's lots of looking. Looky see, looky do. Looky, looky who? Okay. Okay, kanani. Honolulu. We're going to do this same, kind of like the kaulana place motion. Honolulu. And then on your bottom, you're going to flip the hands, palms down. So it's very similar motions, but different angles, and it's all going to come together. So let's try one more time. Huliaku. Ready? Left hand across your chest. Here we hands. Huliaku. Look. Na, na. Ya kai mana hila eya. Stay looking to the side, but drop the hands. I ke i ka nani. A oho no lulu. Badam. That's it. He's too much, this guy. Okay, so now let's talk about the feet work for this. We got to add that in. Huliaku na na. Luckily, we have a couple of different ha camera angles that might help with this. So for Juliaku Nana, you're going to take a kaholo, but it's going to turn you to a quarter turn. So one, two, three, tap. And then we're going to ka'o for two times. Ka'o, ka'o. Then you're going to turn back to the front. Kaholo to the left. Okay? Um, so let's just do that, that series. We're going to turn to the side. Ka'o, ka'o, and back to the front. Ready? Here we go. Kaholo to the right. Sway left, sway right. No, sorry, I have to turn. Ready, turn. Huli aku sway. Na na ya kai mana hila eya. That's it. Okay, so there's just those two kaos. The rest is all gonna be kaholo. Let's try it. this time with um we have like a vavai camera, a foot camera that you can see my feet a little bit better. So here we go. Now you can see my feet big. Ready, turn. Huliaku sway. Na na 
Now hold it back. Ya kaimana hila eya. Good. Okay, we have one more option. We have an overhead camera that maybe you can see the turn a little bit better. So I'm going to give this a try. We're going to turn to this side. Remember, I'm always mirroring you. Hands on your waist. Get ready to step to this side. Ready, go. Huli a ku kao. Na na. Back to the front. Yakai mana hila eya. That's it. Okay. Um, now, the rest of it after that is all going to be kaholo. Side, side, except for that one. Badam is the kao. So, yes, question? Is the kao considered feet motion? It's technically leg motion. I, I guess, guess he's right. Every now and then, he gets me. He says, why is a ka'o considered a foot motion when you really shouldn't be moving your feet, only your hips? One million points to the kid. Okay, so let's do the waist down motions now. Okay, huliaku. <coughs> Am I fired yet? Can he just take over? Okay, ready? We're going to kaholo to the right turn. Ready, go. Huliaku na na. Ya kai mana hila e alcohol keep going ka i ke i ka nani a o ho no lulu but um wait we're on the wrong foot wait there's more ka o i have to do it with hands and feet together sorry i missed some ka o see i should really be fired somebody else do this okay we're gonna turn to the side. Hulia ku. Here's kao. Na na ya kai mana hila. Oh, here it is. Eya. Okay, when you're admiring kai mana hila, you gotta stay still and look it. Wow, look it. Okay, so you gotta look it, look it for two times. Kao kao. Sorry. Okay, give me all the mad faces in the chat. Boo. Bad job. Okay, ready? Ready and turn. Huli a ku look. Na na at what? Yakai mana hila and a look it and a look it. Ike ika nani. A oho no lulu. Param. That was a bad teaching, but now you got it? You're gonna kao kao when you're looking up this way. You're gonna kao kao when you're looking at this way. And then you're gonna kao kao when you butt it over. Everything else is kaholo. It's very simple. Very simple. Huliaku. Ready and turn. Huliaku kao na na. Yakai mana hila kao eya. Look. Ikei ka na ni hono lulu. A o hono lulu. Baram. Okay. With music. Are we okay? Ooh, I see a good question. Where can I find more archives about Prince Kuhio? Um, there is a whole digital photo and um, essay archive on the Hawaii, uh, Hawaii State Archives site that I will link um, later on that you can check out. Also, so many groups this past week have been sharing about Prince Kuhio. So um, some other ones are the uh, Coalition for uh, Native Hawaiian. Anyways, I'm going to link a whole bunch of the Hawaiian Civic Clubs, Prince Kuiho Hawaiian Civic Club, the Kanayo Kana website. I'll put them all in the link for you, Abby. He's fabulous. Okay, here we go. We got to do Kaulan. Get ready. Famous. of this entire video will be available for you to watch over and over again. So we're going to continue on because I don't want to run out of time with Haina. Now, Haina, of course, is the hula dancer's favorite because we're almost done. done. <laughs> so Haina, um, the story is told 
we tell the refrain. This photo is one that I found in those digital archives from the state archives. Um, this is actually a photo of Miss Helen Ayat. Um, and she's the one closest to me in this photo. She's the one who preserved this mele, Waikiki Hula, from her ancestors who passed it down to her. So it is thanks to Miss Helen Ayat that we have records um, of this Waikiki Hula. This is a picture of her placing a lei on Kuhio Day in 1956. So the, um, the grave or the, the tomb of Kuhio is at Mauna Ala in Nu'uwanu. And you have to go down and there's a gate there, which is not always open. But on Kuhio Day, it was open um, for her to place this lei in 1956. So mahalo nui to Helen Ayat for preserving this mele and all of these memories for Prince Kuhio that were passed down to her from people who knew the prince and princess extremely closely and, and well. So mahalo to her for that. I wanted to say that ha'ina iamaya na kapuana doesn't just mean we told the story, but it means we continue to tell the story. So this is a picture of Eames Kalaniakea, my son, um, just yesterday on Kuhio Day, looking at the grave of Prince Kuhio Kalaniana Ole, who passed, unfortunately, in 1922, born in 1871, like I said, yesterday would have been his 150th year birthday. Um, so we did do a lot to celebrate him this month and especially yesterday to see all of the different Aina, Ho'opulapula, the homesteads and just all of his legacy that he has left. We only got to see what he has done here on Oahu, but I know that he has touched lands far and wide. So I hope that you've enjoyed this. Um, let's jump into Ha'ina. Ha'ina ia mai goes from your mouth out. Ha'ina ia mai. Then bring your hands in. Anakapuana ea. That's it. So it's I tell the story to the right and I tell the story to the left. And if you weren't listening, I'll tell it again. Okay. Hey, aloha ia no. I just left a little time for this because we already know it. We're actually going to spin around to the right. Hey, aloha ia no. Now watch carefully. Aoi ki ki. But um. We only get one little tiny wave on the left side. So that's the part that's a little different from the first verse. The rest is going to be all kaholo, if I'm correct. Ready, holo, right. Ha, ina, ia, my hands in. Ana, kapu, ana, ea, spin to the right. Hey, aloha, ia, no. Aoi, ki, ki. Kaholo to the right and ha'ina from your mouth. Ha'ina ia mai anakapuana ea spin. He aloha ia no aoi ki ki ea. Bada badam badam step back. Bum badam brum. Yes, hit that octave, boy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ha ina. That Waikiki is just one ka o. All right, my dear darlings all around the world, it's time for us to honor our Prince Kuhio one final time, dancing the entire song Waikiki Hula from top to bottom. Good luck. Remember, two times first verse, two times last verse. Everything else in between is going to be only one time. Okay? Very good. Shall we do it with, with um, lyrics? No? First time of the first and last, and then the middle ones, let's do, do lyrics. Okay? 
All righty. To your spots, hurry. <laughs> Happy birthday, and thank you for celebrating with us. <sighs> I know it's been a whirlwind. We have one last day in March to celebrate together. So if you don't already join us for Tuesday Crafts, we hope that you will join us. It is at 5 p.m. Hawaiian Standard Time, and we hope that you'll be with us. We're going to be finishing up a mele by our good friend, uh, Kumu Kahanu of Keau Ho, as well as Eho Opili Mai. And we're going to be finishing up Kevalouka on Tuesday. So I hope you'll join us. Um, it's been a blast having you join us for this celebration. So keep practicing, and we'll see you again, I hope, um, back here for another Saturday hula. Until then, ahui ho.